name of all trades and I'm back again for another thrift haul pretty sure the last one was like a month ago and what's funny is I went thrifting the day afterwards <laughs> I made the video I went thrifting the day afterwards and then uh, I was gonna do the whole thrift haul thing like once a week for thrifty Thursdays but a lot of factors get in the way. One great thing is I'm actually recording with my iPhone. I've been using the really crappy webcam that I got, I don't know, maybe four years ago. And the quality on that is terrible. So with technology nowadays, why not use my iPhone? So unfortunately, I have to use the front camera, which isn't as best of quality. But um, until I figure out a better setup, for recording these videos. We're just gonna do the front camera because at least I know for sure if it's in focus or not. Who cares about any of that? Anywho, let's move on to the good stuff. So I just wanna make a short announcement before I dive into this thrift haul. I am reopening the fine shop. Yes, it's reopening and I finally decided on a date which is May 31st, 2014. I will put the link and stuff down here and kind of let y'all know how to access that, but yes, so in a little bit over a week, you will be able to shop the store full of all of this stuff back here. This is all stuff for the shop. Plus, I do have more things that I will be showing you from my thrift haul, and I'll continue to start adding these. Not everything that I have for inventory will be online on the 31st. I have at least 30 items right now, plus about 10 more that just need to be put on the website. I know some of these are from, everything from this thrift haul is going to be either from the Thrift Giant 50% off sale, it's going to be from uh, Thrift World of Dallas, and then the other one is actually located in Irving and it's called, I forgot what it's called, it's called, um, no there's like letters and then it says something like thrift store. Oh, here we go, UGM thrift store. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so the first thing, let's go ahead and start with this because I love this and we had like a little bit of a cold front come in and we're having 60-ish degree nights. So I wanted to wear this, but I'm trying really hard not to wear clothes unless I do a thrift haul or talk about them. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is I got this for, I don't know, I don't remember. Something, it was super cheap, but it's just this really simple black, um, I don't know if that's crochet knit whatever it's called shawl and this is just awesome especially I do plan on going to the beach sometime soon and you know that it gets kind of windy there at night so this would be perfect to be hanging out near a campfire oh <sighs> yes all right another thing that I got and I've already worn this but it's just because I couldn't help myself so what it is is this it's this black kind of like an oversized top and it's sheer and then the neck is it's almost like a slouchy kind of neck, but this does fit a little bit bigger. And I wore this with like just a bandeau underneath and high-waisted pants because that's my style. Anything see-through with the bandeau and high-waisted pants or shorts is pretty much what you can see me wearing out in the streets. So another one, now I, I got these all prepared so I could show them to you, but I'm still very bad at this. Okay, so what this is, is it's this really adorable skirt and it has this kind of like tie in the front so it opens up and then you just tie it around and it, what's great is it kind of makes it a little bit of an adjustable waist. So yeah, this is adorable. I was thinking about selling this, but I really like it so I'm at least going to wear it once or twice before I decide to sell it. It's pretty cool. Uh, another thing, this is actually going to be on the shop, pleated white skirt. The size on this is a size 8. Too big for me. And if you're into the tennis or pleated skirt look, this will be available soon. Actually, I think I already put this online. So it's available online. I just have to open the store. May 31st, 2014. It's going down. I can't get over what I'm wearing. I'm just like, yeah, whatever, dude. Go Spurs. This is an awesome shirt. And I am so excited. You know, I might even just take this with me to San Antonio because I have been putting it off. Oh, there's some stains. Okay, never mind. I'm not taking it. I'm going to wash it first. So that's the thing. It's like whenever you go thrifting, sometimes clothes will have little tiny stains, but a lot of times you can just like wash it out or you just deal with it. So if this, the stains don't come out on here, I will deal with it. So what we have here is this, this really wonderful, uh, it's kind of like a lilac or a really light pale purple. And on the front we have this embroidery potted plants and I'm really into that lately. 
plants. I mean, I guess I've always liked flowers. If you can see, like I had just flowers all over the place. I started buying plants for the house to decorate and stuff. So I'm into that right now. And I think I might be killing one of the plants outside. I don't even know how many times I'm supposed to water it, but luckily I have some, um, like a cactus and other plants that don't need me to constantly be watering them because otherwise they will die, unfortunately. They're not looking so good out there. We'll see, we'll see what happens. So another thing that I got, this is actually gonna be on the shop too. The tag says medium. And so this is kind of like a 90s style with a nice floral pattern going on in the front. And then it's also a button up skirt. So all the buttons are right in the middle in the front. And I kind of like that look. I just think it adds something a little bit more interesting. On the back, it's a lot more simple. So it's just a few flowers scattered about. That will be on the shop soon. This is my, for my personal collection. Sometimes thrift stores will mark their products out just like outrageous prices. I mean, at least to me, because I'm a cheapskate, I do all the work. So I work for it, so give me cheap prices. It's just this really amazing floral maxi skirt and i have a couple of these but i just really enjoy this they're not sunflowers but they have that same kind of golden color to them i don't really know the differences between flowers and whatnot but uh this is similar to the other floral skirt the little short one and it has a tie but what's great about this is there's actually um instead of it just tying all the way around there is a little entrance for the belt or whatever and it goes through so it won't be sliding up and down and it'll actually give you some support when you're wearing it so this is another one that's going to be on the shop it's this uh kind of like a geometric pattern it kind of reminds me of a um almost like a tribal print but it's not i don't know what this is but it's just a really adorable circle skirt uh, the colors on here, the the part that looks white is more of a light pink, and then it's just this nice maroon or burgundy color pattern. And that will be on the shop. So if you like it, you can buy it on the 31st. I'm just going to keep saying it. I'm going to keep plugging it in. I'm going to be like, the 31st, May 31st, May 31st. So, because as you may or may not know, I am currently unemployed. And um, while I don't have a job, I'm going to be taking time to put everything on the shop and kind of get this going. So when I do enter the job market yet again, um, this will be just another source of income because girls got to eat. You know what I'm saying? Girl got to eat. Another thing that will be on the shop are these really wonderful purple shorts. Now, what's great about them is not only are they this really nice lilac color, but they're also... Yes, guest shorts, and that's like one of my favorite things is, I'm actually, I think, yeah, these are some guest shorts that I'm wearing right now. But these don't fit me, but they do have that nice triangle logo, and I'm sorry if it's backwards. I'm using my, the face front camera, whatever. But uh, these are size 30. So yeah, so a size 30. I don't want to cut these because I know that everybody has preferences and stuff. And since these are a really nice pair of guest shorts, I want the consumer slash customer slash you to decide if you want to uh, distress these or anything. If, it, if this was me, I would probably just leave them the way they are and then I would just cuff them on the bottom if they're too long. Now, I know it's like summertime, but you can never be uh, too prepared for winter. Plus, if you take it, if you go to school or if you have to be in buildings a lot, like if you have a job that lets you wear what you want to wear. This is a really great sweater. <clears throat> so this is just a black sweater with this front floral pattern detail on it. Super awesome. Now, I would keep it. I would keep this for myself, but I never, ever, ever wear sweaters. I don't know why. I just like collect them and then... I never wear them. They're just not my thing, I guess. I don't know what the excuse is, but still has tags on them. The brand for this is American Spectator. I try to look up some of these brands, but it's always so hard, especially if they're vintage or whatever. So yeah, I would consider this a vintage sweater and it's a size small. So if you wear small and you like this sweater, it'll be available. Another thing that I will be selling is a super sweet size medium green vest. The brand is Bongo and it looks like it looks like it's a more of a cropped vest and it's a size medium. So like I said, so if you want to buy this, um, it'll be online and I always measure the clothing flat. Eventually, in the next few weeks or so, I'll actually be getting some models together to wear the clothes so you can see how they look. As I can put it on me and you're going to be like, that looks stupid. You would be right because it is too big for me. 
I'm the size of a small human. I'm a miniature human, they would say. So I found this skirt and I was like, oh my goodness. How perfect is this for summer and spring? And it's a really nice light material. I'm trying to figure out how I should hold this for you. Anywho, so I found this first when I was cruising the racks and it's just this midi skirt and it has really nice pastel colors for this little pattern that we have going on here. I think this is super cute and at first I was like, oh, I'm definitely going to sell that right away because on the tag it says it's a size 6, but as you all know, sizes vary and we don't have one universal way of measuring clothing, especially if it's clothing that is like 1990 and before because this is a size six but this fits me really tight and I wear uh, in the clothing nowadays I wear about a 25 or I'll wear um, like a one or a three or something like that but mainly 25 this is a size six and it fits more like an extra small super cute and perfect for summer so if you want to snag that please please do now what's funny is okay I found the skirt first but then I was cruising the racks and then I found this super sweet shirt that is obviously part of it. So I was thinking about selling them as a pair, but I decided that I'm not going to, at, at least for right now. I mean, maybe if nobody buys a skirt by itself and then I get tired of this shirt, I will put it online. But until then, I'm going to keep it because I need a little bit of color in my life. Just like one shirt of color once a year. Okay, it's just this really awesome pastel loose fitting shirt and then it looks adorable the shirt with this skirt together. I tried it on and it's very very cute but I just don't know if anybody really kind of likes, I like that, that whole like jumpsuit or matching top and bottom. I'm really into that lately and I'm going to start kind of uh, customizing some of, of the finds that like shirts and skirts maybe even make them into two-piece crop top skirt set because it's super easy I mean you can learn all this stuff on the internet so if you ever have anything that you really like or you have an idea that it could be um, upcycled to something different you should just look online because more than likely you will find any tutorial that you need the skirt will be online for sure the shirt I'm keeping until further notice we're almost done guys and that excites me this is just a really adorable uh, midi length actually this probably goes to the knees okay so this is like a knee length skirt from the brand ASOS they're based out of Europe USA size 4 and what's really great about this is it has these really nice kind of like puffed sleeves I'm sorry you can't see because this light is crazy but this is just how I'm shooting today it's, it's just like a little black dress and I'm definitely gonna sell this because I'm too short to be wearing um, stuff like this in my opinion. I just feel like it makes me look like a little munchkin. So if you're size 4, uh, this would be perfect for you, especially if you're tall. And if not, if you don't care about looking like a munchkin like I do, then it doesn't matter. And then on the back, there's this really cool zipper detail. And now it's just a zipper detail. It's not an actual zipper, even though that would be way better. But at least you don't have to worry about somebody coming behind you and trying to take your dress off because I know we've... Uh, most of us have moved on from middle school, but some of us still act like we're in middle school. I know I do, but I'm not trying to like pants anyone or declothe them because that's, you know, the golden rule or whatever. So I'm not trying to get declothed. I'm not trying to declothe you. Or am I? Uh, I bought this tie because I was working at a restaurant that required you to wear a tie. And the other day was my last day there. So I just have this tie that I don't know when I'm ever going to wear. Maybe when I enter the workforce, I will want to, because I'm not opposed to dressing in men's, men's style, menswear, female menswear, men, menswear inspired female clothing. I don't, I'm not opposed to wearing a tie, it's, which is what I'm getting at. So right now we have this, it's a, it's on a navy background. You can't really see, man, the lighting in here is terrible. It's just, I'll figure it out, guys. But until then, I need to get this video out to you because you have been waiting so freaking long and I'm so lazy and it's time to change that. Anywho, okay, so yeah, floral tie with that, it's a, kind of on like a dark blue or navy background and then it has a light blue and maroon colored floral thing going on. So this is a really cute tie. I promise you we're almost done. It's just so many things. This is like a two-parter because I still have more. See that little pile right there? 
all kind of in the middle by itself right there. Yeah, that's another thrift haul that I need to film. But until then, I'm going to get this done and I'm going to get it out to you and you're going to like it. Okay, you're going to like it. And you're going to tell all your friends. Please, just please tell all your friends that you like it. I'm kind of nice, kind of. I'm actually a villain. We've discussed this. But the appearances prove that I am not a villain. That I'm just a nice, innocent, little baby girl. Okay, I'm a grown woman and a villain. Remember that. So every once in a while you can find some really amazing, awesome pieces and that you just didn't even realize that there is much of a treasure until you start uh, researching them online. So I saw this shirt now. Okay, it has so many different factors. One, it has, it's, it's a bit sheer, as you can see. You can kind of see me through it. So it's sheer. Uh, also, stripes. I like stripes. And I'm really, really into uh, either embroidery or even sequins. And this little Scottish dog or whatever they're called. Scottish terrier? Scottish? Whatever. This black dog uh, is adorable. I think I got this for less than $3. And I went online to, to look to kind of check out and see if there's anything special about this shirt because it's really good quality and sequin like this I mean most stuff that's really nicely sequined like that are usually pretty expensive so anywho so the brand of this is called Anna Molinari and when I researched that online like an Italian designer or something I'm not really sure I couldn't really figure out or actually find this specific shirt but she's a designer apparently from Italy and now I have this really adorable shirt that may cost quite a bit of money and I only paid three dollars for it so that's why you should go thrifting because sometimes you find amazing vintage pieces for not even a quarter of the price I'm telling you like let's say even if the shirt is a hundred dollars retail I spent three dollars so that was 97 percent off that's math I'm good at it and not for reasons like you think just because I'm really good at it don't be a racist. Here is the last and final thing. This video has taken way too long because I am a chatty Kathy, chatterbox. I talk too much. I have already worn this and you may have seen this online on Facebook. So I use it as my default picture, but what it is, is it's just this, it's almost a maxi, it's more of a midi and it's kind of like a circle skirt. And uh, the brand is Corey, Corey, I don't know. Regardless of what it is, oh, there is staples in here still, and I wore that. Anywho, uh, the brand, I don't know, it's like some old lady brand, but this does not look like an old lady when I wear it. It's a little bit uh, of a thick fabric, but I don't think that it will be too bad during the summer. It's a 60% polyester and 40% cotton. Yeah, since it's not so tight, I can actually get some air, a little bit of a breeze, yeah, I can get a little bit of a breeze wearing this, but um, maybe not such a good idea to wear it during the 100 degree temperatures. But so this is versatile spring, summer, fall, winter, year round skirt. I'm going to wear it. Really, really, really love a lot of the things that I found. But I have been telling myself, don't go thrifting until you do these thrift hauls. Here I am. I did a thrift haul. It took me a month this time which is actually not that bad. Just a couple things to leave you with since I am done with this thrift haul. Number one, first and foremost, the fine shop will be opening May 31st, 2014. Don't spend your money, save your money so you can buy things from the shop. Two, some of the things that you found through this thrift haul will be up on the site by opening day. And three, if you are living in the DFW Metroplex, Denton area, and you kind of want to let me take photographs of you, I would very much like that. So please get in contact with me and we could talk about it. And I'm looking for models of all sizes. Uh, right now, I'm specifically, I mean, I have a couple people who are interested, but what I am looking for are those who can wear more of a size medium to size large because I do have a lot of size um, eight to 10 so if you wear those sizes and you want to help me out and get some cool photographs at the same time and give me practice and help me out and be really nice my friend then let me know but until then i'm going to go to san antonio so i will see y'all on the flip side on the flip side i'll see you guys 
in the future. Have a great day. Thanks again.